Okay, the next way they're going to come after you is by making you provide contemporaneous proof of time spent on real estate activities. Contemporaneous means as you were providing each activity, you were documenting the activities you were providing, contemporaneous. When you look at the 300 and something cases that I've looked at, the most common reason the tax court threw out real estate professional is when it came time to actually prove material participation, if you couldn't put up the documents to prove the contemporaneous timekeeping requirement, you lost. So what's the IRS want here? They want contemporaneous time logs that substantiate the time you put into a rental activity. Okay, at 2.04 p.m. I began installing a sink in Unit 3. At 4.52 p.m. I finished. Who actually does that? You know, what's really ironic here is the regulations state that a taxpayer's participation in activity may be established by any reasonable means. Well, what you consider reasonable and what the government considers reasonable under audit or litigation are two different things. Moreover, the regulations say that contemporaneous daily time reports, logs, or similar documents are not required if the taxpayer can establish their participation by other reasonable means. This isn't what happens in real life. Don't count on the regulations to save you. It's the application of the regulations in real life that's the bar that you have to cross. So what's the bottom line here? What, what really is other reasonable means? It means you have some method to identify the services that you were performed over a period of time and the approximate numbers of hours you spent performing those services during that period of time. And this can be based on appointment books, calendars, or narrative summaries. That's normally how people do it.